This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got Jolene Stover with me from Heyday in Kempfel. Thank you for jo joining us today. Thank you for having me. 60th year. Yes. 60 years that Hey Day's been going on. So let's talk about the history. You were just telling me before we started, we pressed the record button. How did Hey Day start? Well, the auxiliary was formed over 60 years ago. It was started up to fundraise so that the hospital could be built. And one of the major fundraisers back then was Hey Day, and it still is. 60 years. And it is huge, huge. If you haven't been to it, 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 you can't even imagine how big it is too. And it's going to be at the Municipal Centre this year? Yes, we've moved it to the Municipal Centre. Um, it's the largest indoor garage sale in Eastern Ontario. Wow. And as I said, the major fundraiser for the Kempfell District Hospital Auxiliary. All right. And how long have you been with the Hay Day? I was the convener of Hay Day for four years. And then when COVID hit, we shifted to online, kept the 50-50 and moved it to an online lottery. Mm -hmm. And now that we have Heyday back, I'm going to be an advisor on the committee. The 50-50 uh, draw is a big portion of it as well too. You're starting yes. to sell tickets in yes. advance right yes, now? Yes, we've been selling tickets already um, in some of the grocery stores around Kempville and the farmer's market. We'll be at the farmer's market again this coming Sunday. And of course, we'll have 50-50 tickets at Heyday itself. The draw is at one o'clock on Saturday and Mayor Pe Peckford will be there to do the draw. Right, and it's, uh, we're talking June 9th and June 10th is when yes. you're gonna actually have the, the, the Heyday going on. Yeah. You're looking for donations in, in Oh yes, advance. everything's donations. We couldn't do it without the donations. So, I mean, everybody that's doing your spring cleaning or doing your uh, downsizing or just have treasures that you want to get rid of you can bring them to the do the municipal center on wednesday from one till seven or thursday from 9 a.m till 8 p.m and that's at the municipal yes. center and it's going to be on one of the rink surfaces yes inside on the uh There'll be signs. <laughs> I don't know my east and west. I don't either. <laughs> I don't either. I'm a left and right kind of girl. So. Yes. Yeah, but um, it is going to be on the ice. Well, the ice, of course, will be out, but uh, it is in one of the arenas. And it's going to be huge. It, it oh, is yeah. like you, you can get everything from linens, Christmas decorations, clothes, uh, technology, uh, toys. We've had street <sighs> signs. We've yes. had, um, I'm trying to think of some of the fun things that have just been any, like, Anything you can imagine, it's there. It's a trip back in time and sometime when you see some of the furniture and yeah. everything too. And it's like, wow. Sometimes we'll get, we, we get purses <laughs> donated, mm -hmm. but you go through the purses and there's even more things in the purses or, you know, we go through, we check the pockets and, and things and just everything. There's, we have antiques, there's furniture, there's uh, china, crystal, crafts, one year we had a knitting machine. Wow. Um, just, I can't, there's no, there's no limit. That's right, that's right. And the, the amount of people that show up, there's a lineup yep. waiting to get inside they on Friday start, night. Yeah, they start to line up on Friday night and um, they're lined up again Saturday morning. The, uh, as soon as the doors open, m most of the people know what they're looking for and they know the layout. And exactly. You can see them go right to books or they go and they'll spend hours in just in the books section looking and through. You've always done that too. You've set it up all the same. Like yes. the, the clothes were always in the same yes. place, the Christmas decorations, yes. the toys. And, and exactly, people would know where to go. Yes, and the, we're, it's going to be the same this year. The same layout. It's not going to change. And, you know, uh, the municipal center is the same, basically the same ice surface as the curling rink was and uh, yeah we're determined to set it up exactly the same and I mean you've been doing this for 60 years and my goodness it's such a tradition to the, the folks of North Granville oh, yeah. and the area to go to Hay Day yeah it's, it's an event yeah people come from all over it's it's astounding to hear some of them the stories where they came from and they 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 used to come with their mothers or their grandmothers and and it's just tradition it is, it really is. And what a great time of year. You were saying like when you're cleaning up and everything, mm -hmm. you're changing your winter to your summer. Mm -hmm. Let's see yeah, yeah, stuff that you haven't worn and yeah. you're not using, let's give it to a good cause. Yeah. Yeah. And it just goes to the Kempfell District uh, Hospital Auxiliary, but you give it right back to the yes. hospital. We, we, the, it, the Kempfell Hospital Auxiliary 
is the driving force behind Heyday. Mm -hmm. We organize it, um, recruit the volunteers, get it, get it advertised, do the 50-50, and it's incredible how many volunteers it takes to, to pull it off. Hundreds. Hundreds, absolutely Hundreds. it would, yes. And um, it's all organized by the auxiliary and the, and the team that puts Heyday together. And every cent that we raise goes back to the hospital, which they in turn use to purchase much needed equipment that isn't necessarily funded by the government. Absolutely, I mean, if it wasn't for the foundation and the auxiliary, well, I, it, it does, it takes the auxiliary and the foundation to mm -hmm. be able to fund equipment and mm -hmm. everything you Definitely. need in the hospital, for Definitely. sure. For sure, do you need more volunteers? We can always use volunteers. Mm -hmm. um, I don't have the email, the email address on there, but it is, kdha dot heyday at gmail dot com and you know you're you're so organized too because like I, there is literally hundreds and hundreds of people coming in buying things and as they're buying things more boxes from underneath exactly. are being put exactly. out exactly the clothes are being you know it's just so organized and so clean yeah. and so or, you just organizes the word I, I, you the just, um, section heads they know what they're doing yeah they've been there before yeah. it's not and their first rodeo <laughs> so excited that this year they're all coming almost Every single one of them is coming back. Some of the section, section heads, we call them, um, have been doing this for over 40 years. Every year, coming back. That's right, that's right. It is a tradition for the folks of uh, North Granville to go and, and do some shopping, mm -hmm. but it's tradition for a lot of people yeah, that have been participating, definitely, organizing definitely. it. Well, much like yourself, much like yourself. So heyday, uh, the hugest garage sale in Eastern Ontario. Yes. Indoor garage sale in Eastern Ontario is going on June 9th and 10th, and uh, the 50-50 draw will be held on Saturday, Saturday. at 1 o'clock. Saturday at 1 o'clock, right as you're winding down and everything That's like right. that too. So our good mayor is going to be doing that. So look forward to this as, a, mm -hmm. as always, the 60th annual uh, Heyday. One change that we will have this year is that we've teamed up with House of Lazarus. Yes. So um, they suffered a devastating fire that destroyed their food cupboard. So we've invited them to bring um, their collection bins to the municipal center during heyday. So if anybody wants to bring, donate, donate non-perishable perishable food items, they can bring them along with Excellent. them and just help support the House of Lazarus as well. Oh, I'm glad you said that before we wrapped up. Yes, the House of Lazarus, they had a, a fire Oh, a couple of months ago now too. Mm -hmm. So, and I mean, this is a really hard time of year yes. for for uh, food banks. So it's a, a great uh, opportunity to donate mm -hmm. to. A lot of people think food banks are needed more at Christmas time and Thanksgiving, but it is all year round. So Definitely, there's a lot of people helping out the House of Lazarus, and so are you. So, bring some non-perishable food items to help out the House of Lazarus yes. as well too. Helping people all sorts of ways. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for joining us. Jolene Thank Stover you, for our heyday. We're looking forward to it June 9th and 10th at the Municipal Center. Exactly. Thank, Thank you very you. much for joining us.